Now, Chip, come in real close. Lean in. I got to ask you a question. And that question is going to be, Chip, now, Chip, just how fast are you? Well, considering many of the last few levels have been about running, I think I've built up a pretty good head of steam. Howdy, y'all. I'm around the wheel. You're watching Chip's Challenge 2, Back to the Hood, and today we are in a bit of a rush. A Chuck Somerville Bonafide Original. We have 10 seconds to get 17 chips, which is generally not the way things work. Practice with the clock stopped. Okay. All right. So if I come in here, well, there's no, okay. Oh, practice with the clock stopped. So, so I go in, I run around and I can kind of look at the level. I can't beat the level because it would require getting all of these, but you can kind of look at the layout of the way. Well, look at that. I, I am astounded to be quite frank, a fair level. I never thought I'd see something in all my chips challenging days. So you kind of get a practice run at the level before you, uh, before you have to really dig in and grind on it with your, with your lack of time. So, okay. So we kind of, we kind of get a practice shot here. Okay. You got to be pretty quick on the ball with that. And you get a little more of this. Uh, we got okay. We'll go. We'll go through to here when we get all this done. Oh my gosh! Really block pushing in a level like this with no time to spare? I feel like I ought to just get into it and kind of explore as I go. So yeah, I could do this. I could do this like little practice run here, knowing I'm not going to beat the level. But that does not seem like the best use of my time. I think I'd rather just get into it, right? I think that would kind of be the way one would want me to do that. Hey, I'm trapped all of a sudden now. Ah, oh, that's a that's a that's a right mean cheat. And I didn't go through a teleporter anyway. Let's give a let's give it a real run here. Let's let's try to just beast it out. Okay, let's see what happens. We have plenty of time to go around and get all the lovely goodies. Did I look over here for things? I think I did. Uh, but I don't think I can get to there yet. So I've got some time here. It's not really the crunch that... It's not something to be afraid of, I don't think. Okay, definitely got to get that. Can't forget about that. Or these, or... Okay, there's quite a bit of time involved getting those. Okay. So we got these, and we got a little of this, and a little of this action. Now I okay. So you have you get the you get the practice run to kind of practice your route through the level because there is stuff here that I'm missing, and I'm not going to be able to get to the exit on account of the fact that I'm missing chips. So yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make it through because I forgot certain things. Um, like for one thing, to probably turn on this. Uh, I should have probably gone and gotten the extra time first, actually, so... Or is this a thing I can do later? I See, I can use these little practice runs to... Uh, mm, that's an interesting choice. So if I push up into here... I go here... All the way through here... Yeah, there's no way to push that block into the water, I don't think. Not that I'm seeing right now, unless unless we get a hook. Someone told me about the hook. They said that it is only used in two levels of the game, which kind of raises the question, why even bother including it? But, okay, I need to get around to here. Do I have time to run this out? That is a long haul to run around here, and I don't think I can fit it in in the amount of time I'm given even with a bummer no I can't so okay I think I'm gonna have to come back later for this when I have more time I'm gonna have to come across the water and get that maybe it would be better for me to route this out before I because yeah I go up here yeah I'm just wasting a bunch of time kind of routing it out with my attempts and the level actually gives you the chance to do that, which, again, I can't say enough for how kind of fair and cool that is, especially considering the time when this game was made and the design choices. 
Okay. Yeah, we definitely should probably go through here first. But, okay. So, if I move anywhere other than these two areas, I get stuck. So, alright. Uh-huh. So, I should probably go back through here. Yeah, there we go. Alright. And I can go through here and do all of this kind of wise guy business. Very good. Why would I go through... Now, okay, why would I go through the thief zone here? That's an interesting question. There would be no reason to touch the thief at all whatsoever, actually. Okay, the thief is just sitting on a button like some kind of weirdo. Okay. So, yeah, there's a, there's a definite plan for the level. And that plan... Oh, gosh. Another winding corridor. I've given myself... Probably not enough time to get through here, I would imagine. Um, give me a clock. Thank you. That. Oh, that's very nice. Oh, no. I have to... Okay, I have to blow it up without using the... Okay. I think it's safe if I put it right here. No, it isn't. I have to put it in a place that will allow me to get around. And I destroyed it anyway, yeah. Oh, gosh, yeah. This level does really require a plan. Which maybe I should put together before I go any further. Well, it turns out when you get to dink around with a level for a while, you get to know it very intimately. And it turns out I was going the wrong way to start. There actually is a way to do that up in here with all this ample corridor space. Let's go up here. We're actually going to go this way to start. And we're going to push this through to here. And then we got to come around this way. And we got to make sure that this is on for later. Because we have to make this on so that we can get through a door not too much later on from now. Now we push this around. See, we've got time. Everything's everything's good in the hood. So now, here we go. Alright, let's get through here and get this going. Definitely need to get my timer. My timer, my timer, my timer. Holy moly. Okay. So now, I do not have much time to collect these little bits. But man, oh man alive, my time is short, oh gosh, yeah, Bummer. wow, even doing, even doing what I know I'm supposed to be doing, oh, I think I missed, okay, yeah, I missed this one first, I think I know what the problem was there, I actually missed a clock, so, I was like, I don't think it, sh I don't feel like it should be that tight, it's a, uh, it's a little scarier than I anticipated, but it turns out, you know, <laughs> good reason for that and whatnot so yeah let's do what we were doing I, i'm pretty sure this is how we want to go about it for for the time being get in here turn this on so that i can move through that door later okay very good oh yeah it already feels like i have a lot more time on my hands very excellent so let's get that might as well get the four shoes while we're at it so we don't have to unnecessarily come back for those. Alright. And two more, and then we can move on to the next phase of the gauntlet. So now we move on. And we gotta move around the gliders. We gotta move in sync with them, as you are so often asked to do with enemies. This is why we have the four shoes. You come around this way. And then you go through here, and this part looks pretty familiar. I did this once already, so just pop through the recessed walls. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, as opposed to difficult, difficult, lemon difficult. Alright, make sure I get every chip in here. I would not want to have to repeat this little, this little bit. See, like that. Okay, but you gotta go through to the left at the right time. Okay, very good. And now I do remember doing this. That's hunky-dory. Great. Why don't we pop in here as well and get that piece of time. we got to be very quick here. we got a couple of... There we go. No, what are you doing, you jerk? Okay, thank you. All right. I was going to try to see how many of these I could push through before I had to get the clock, but I have to... Time is of the essence, so I have to move very quickly here. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm actually about to run out of time. But I know generally the route I need to be taking. Okay, and now I have force boots in my in my inventory, so I'm going to need to change the place of those with the bomb. 
so that I can, uh, there we go. I'm gonna need to drop that bomb pretty quickly because look how much time we've got on the clock. Holy moly. Okay, okay, okay. And this drops right here. I think that's the place to do it. Bummer. What? Oh, God, the stupid explosion still happens. The wall doesn't keep you totally safe. Good grief. Oh, my God. In fact, I think I did it in the wrong place anyway. Uh, although, is there any way of knowing, really? I don't. Ugh! All right, once more unto the breach. I think I'm doing a little better this time. I feel a little more comfortable. You, you do this, you practice, you get a little better each time. You have a little more time to do the things you need to do. So I was stand, I had it in the right place. There we go, you just don't want to get blown up. And now, okay, so there's only so much of the level you can practice. Oh, hey, a big horde of time. Oh, very good. Okay, hopefully that's enough to feel comfortable with whatever comes up next. So if you don't practice the level, there's only so much of it you're allowed to do. It's kind of like a, it's like kind of like a contra easy mode ending. Uh, you you can only uh, if you do it the easy way, you only get to play so much. But it looks like this is just unlocking doors to get keys that unlock doors that get you keys that unlock doors that get you keys. That's a pretty simple standard thing, and I have a lot of time left. So now. Now I feel at least moderately comfortable. So, see, I even took the long way around in that little room that gave me the space to do so. So, pop in. Very good. Okay. Woo! A level, indeed, that one was. Oh, my gosh. But I do like the at least attempt to give you a chance to see what's going on and not have to, like, make 8 million tries at it, even though I did that anyway. But, you know, it's cute. It's cool. But I did appreciate the chance to kind of, on my own time, piece it out for myself and then come back once I felt comfortable. It kind of uh, kind of feels like it anticipated Let's Play in that way, oddly enough. Now it's time to enter the minefield. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> okay, I like this. This looks cute. This ought to be fun. Let's see about it. Oh, hey. Okay. All right, so... Oh, just barely. Okay, alright. Bummer. Okay, I can get about four to six chips at a time. Maybe about five there, six. Bummer. Okay, I can get, I think, about five... Okay, if I'm very quick, I can get about six chips at a time. Bummer. I did not mean to do that. Wow, yeah, you gotta be quick Bummer. on the quick on the reflexes to get six though. Wow, did I actually get seven there? No, yeah, I got a little really quiet for a second there. Okay, I really like this. Oh, until that bit. Oh jeez. So, okay, if I make it through really quick, I think with maybe it would seem to suggest frame perfect precision. I can really double up on my bonus points. But I have to be, like, frame perfect. So, yeah, if I kind of, like, follow the ball with my eye... Bummer. Okay, I, I took a bit of a hubrisy chance Bummer. there. Okay, you can only get six here. Okay, and then... Bummer. Okay, so it's like six... Bummer. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Six, and then I think five is all I can tolerate here. Yeah, and then seven. Okay, yeah. Okay, this is this is nice and cute. I like it a lot. Okay, and I should be able to get to the end from there. And I actually had the chance to get the... Uh... Yeah, there we go. I actually, like, really, really roughed up on bonus points, too. Wow, that, that was a spur-of-the-moment decision to do that, but, oh man, that was a cute little level. I really liked that one a lot, as I do with most single screeners, admittedly. But that one was especially creative, and I really enjoyed following the ball with the periphery of my vision. That was, that was a real, <laughs> oh gosh, well, my eyes were having fun, and now Pattern Buffers by Nick Lauria. This is another good god nonsense level. Yikes. Okay, 
What am I looking at here? This is... Okay. All right. So can I... Wait. Can I go through either way? I can. So there is that. Get that. Go up onto there. And then boom. Blue tank gives me some time, but I can't really... I can get to that. Um, how do I get to that? Am I going to be killed if I... Yeah, I can't really do anything with that. I do have a bowling ball, though. What is a... What can I... If I destroy the bowling... Bummer. Oh, gosh. Okay. So, here we go. Alright. Let's try a thing. Okay, so... We are given time to do the thing. Alright, if I get moving right now... Okay, I do have some time now. Uh, time to do what, though? Get a chip... Um, where else can I go? Okay, I see now. I can go in here and I pick up that. What is that gonna do for me? So I pop this open. I need to get go get the ice boots somewhere. Um, where am I gonna use these? Uh, maybe I was wrong to... Where, where do I... Okay, if I put the yellow teleporter just, uh... Bummer. Oh yeah, that was really stupid actually. Do that, do everything the way I've been doing it, but let's go ahead and stick that right here actually. Okay, so that when I... So that when I... Okay, yeah, now I have it again, and it's mine. It's all mine! <laughs> okay, so now I have a red key, which I'm supposed to use... I'm actually going to use... Should I... Do I get another red key? No, I don't. So this may, in fact, be a red hit. No. Should get me more time. Which I desperately need because I'm planning Bummer. the level while I'm playing. You would think I would know better by now than to do that. Let's try again. I think I see a... I think I see a... A workable plan there. Uh... Okay. All right, let's collect this, and let's do this, as we have been doing, and drop this here, get that, and then, okay, yeah, so we have that, and now I'm going to destroy this, all right, so, all right, oh, hey, all right, I have fire boots now, that's, that's excellent, so, all right, no, not what I wanted. That's not the thing I wanted to drop, dang it. Okay, I gotta pay attention to what I'm dropping. But I think I'm getting it piece by piece. This is not so bad a level, I don't think. Once you realize kind of what it is you're looking at. Okay. There we go, alright. And then I... Then I drop... The, uh, no. I drop the bowling ball here. And then I readjust and get it again. Okay. Then I can hop and pop onto this, okay? Yeah, gotta be really fast though. Gotta really tank it. I did not take the liberty of hitting the blue button, Bummer. which I gotta remember to do. That's just yet another thing I've gotta fit into the plan. Okay. Alright, so grab this, pop that, do that, and then change up to here. Very good. Grab this. Okay, I'm getting kind of the rhythm now. Hit this up here first, switch again, grab this. Yeah, you gotta really think quick. And then drop it, move, go, go bowling for dollars. Alright, so I've got some I've got some more time now. That's that's very good. And I still have a red key, which the, probably the best thing to do is. I don't know what the best thing to do with the red key is. It's not going here, I don't think. That's a waste of a key. So, do I still have a... I have fire boots. I have fire boots. Where can I go with that? I should be thinking more about the fire boots. I didn't even notice there was a hint this level. I can't change the laws of physics, Captain. You have to give me more time. Uh, excuse me. That should be canna, not can't. As in, I cannot change the laws of physics, Captain. Yeah, I got to give me more time. Uh, so yeah, if you're gonna name your level pattern buffers, you know, get the get the written form of the accent right at least. <laughs> oh, please. So okay, what do I need to be doing here? Probably figuring out how to maximize my use of everything. Honestly, I want another bowling ball. I want a yellow key. I want everything. Me, me, me. Mine, mine, mine. Now, now, now. I am a greedy boy who doesn't remember how to drop things. So now, 
Okay, yes. Yeah, so now I get another bowling ball. Uh, which means I need to probably... What do I need to destroy next? That's my that's my real recurring issue here is what to destroy. Okay, I need to get this block over into here. Aha! There we go. If I get that block over into there, if I can figure out how to do that in a timely fashion, bummer. I can't I can't just push it. Okay, I can probably use the bowling ball to destroy what? Why don't I bolt this over? There we go. Get some more time. Just a little more time. A little more time. And if I push this up, I die instantly. Bummer. So yeah, I kind of need the bowling ball to destroy that, actually. So, okay. Let's see if I can remember that among all the other pieces of... Among all the other pieces of, like, info dump that I am being tasked with remembering here. Okay, got that. Very good. Boom. Yellow key... Uh, bowl onto this so I can get more time and then get this I think I can get this entirely out of the way um, so I'm gonna bowl this oh yeah don't forget about this a whole chip that I would want to collect okay I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bowl this here and see what happens oh he just gets stuck in there cool okay so no he doesn't actually so now my way to the exit is impeded, and I actually have to use a bowling ball to get to this. Cool, cool, I think. But I did get all the chips. I am kind of making it a little farther. All right, let's switch this up a little. Let's hit this one. Then I can bring this block up here and destroy this. Get these. So that now I have two bowling balls. This destroys this. And now I just come down, I destroy this. And then this. Okay. Yeah, okay, all right. And then I push this here. All right, yeah, I had to look it up. And even then, it was pretty hard to follow. But I still actually have chips to get because I'm an ignoramus. That's how hard it was for me to follow. Let's give ourselves a little time bonus, why don't we? Aha! And let's even give ourselves a point bonus. Haha, <laughs> yeah. We earned it for that one. Just these levels, they mess with my brain too much. I I couldn't do it on this one. Like I, I couldn't I couldn't sort it all out on my own. There was too much information i do have kind of an add brain so like levels like this feel in a way kind of mean to me not that they were intentionally targeted at me in particular that i i doubt they were thinking of an at the time 14 year old texas boy but they just something about them i can't sort through them and that one, yeah, I freely admit I had to look this one up because the the assault on the senses was just a little too much for me. Uh, maybe next time we'll have a gentler, kinder level.